morning. Good morning and welcome to the Charlton and Persico show brought to you by White Over Bush Live on Facebook and also YTV. My name's Anton Persico. I'm joined here this morning with Mark Childs. Good morning, Childsy. Morning, Anna Persico, and uh, good morning to everyone out there in Wadarapa Bush, grassroots, rugby land. It's going to be a great day again. Can't wait for it. That's right. The Lane Pen Cup's up for grabs, but there's something a little bit more important today, Childsy, and um, it's the Sneens. Well, yeah, I'm quite passionate about this. Not many people are, but look, uh, there's a $200 prize going up for grabs today, and we've, we've mentioned this around the, the club rugby circles. Look, come to the ground and your best Sneens. Now, Sneen is, uh, well... <laughs> Something that I grew up with in the 1980s. You wear your best pair of jeans and your best pair of sneakers together. It's called a sneen. Uh -huh. So look, come to the ground in your sneens, take the photos, send them in to me, mark.childs at raywhite.com. The best sneen wins a $200 voucher to Just Jeans for a new pair of jeans. Maybe two. Some good specials going on at the moment. But get in behind it. It's a lot of fun. Fantastic. And thank you very much to McDonald's and Marston because I've come through with another 300 cheeseburger vouchers. So if you see me at the game uh, or around the place, hit me up. Um, you've got to be under 18, though, because um, we've, uh, we'll probably end up with 200 vouchers after Chelsea. You'll be lucky He's to get a voucher Charles. off him. He spins them all himself. <laughs> I'll give you the tip. I do, too. Now, the Pick the Score competition. This is jackpotted to $1,500. Uh, and thank you to Mark Childs at Ray White. And we're going to be telling you the match of the week shortly. Uh, you know the rules. Comments below. First comment in. Exact score. Winning team. And you can take home $1,500. Yeah, and I think I'll add to that. I think uh, the closest score will win. So we'll make I it. Like I know you don't score. agree with this, but I'm overriding you. The closest score will get the money this week. So I hope you're watching. If you're the closest score, and I'll be the judge, because it's not your money, it's mine. Fair enough. The closest score will win the money. It's going to go. There'll be no jackpot. It's going to go this weekend in the lane. Pen Cup final. Oh, no. I just let the cat out of the bag. Oh, <laughs> so there oh. we go. It's a lame Pen Cup final, so put your comments below and you could win $1,500. You will win if you're the closest. If you're the closest. Now, the Lone Star Legend Award, Charles, I'm going to pass this one over to you because this lady does an amazing job at uh, getting us our images and also updating Facebook. Well, look, Jay, outstanding what you do with your photography. Uh, every week we go onto different club pages yep. and you're there. You're taking a huge amount of photos and something we really enjoy. So, Jade, you are the Lone Star Legend of the Week. There'll be a voucher there at you at the Lone Star, courtesy of Michelle and Tom Rosengrave. And thanks again for your support, Michelle and Tom. How do you pronounce Jade's last name, Chelsea? Well, look, I'll leave that to you. I, 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 oh, I, I had a bit of a go at it the other day, but tick, 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 tick. Uh, well, we Thank you, go. Jade. You're doing an amazing job. And we're going to go into now Facebook Epic Picks of the Week. And these obviously come from Jade. So thank you very much again. And let's go into this one. Peter Beach gets himself right back in the mix of things. Well, look, Peter Beach is such a dirty player. Look, he's, look, he's trying to eye gouge, eye gouge the Corks Bay player there. It's clearly. just a slap in the face by yeah. Peachy. Oh, no, it's an eye gouge. Uh, no, yeah, the referee clear, should have seen clear. it. Should have four week, four week suspension. Um, and have a look at this one, Charles. Here he is again. He's look, up again. You could actually get that ball out of the equation and have a where is the ball yeah. competition. Tell you what, a lot of people will be looking up here, wouldn't they? For yep. the beachy. Hey, only a face a mother could love once more. Him and Andrew Smith have gone onto the list. Now, this one, this is a cracker. This is Lewis Bush going up, um, obviously receiving a kickoff with two Hawks Bay players. This is Hangton. If we zoom in right here, this is Lewis Bush. He's probably a good four centimetres off the turf there. And <laughs> what do you think? Well, let's do a what happened next. Did he, did he win the ball? Well, it's highly unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say that white man can't jump, Lewis Bush. Now, Barbershop Geordie got in contact with me today uh, with a written complaint, and uh, it's actually about Lewis Bush. Um, this has to be removed immediately, Bushy. Your sideburns. I just think everyone needs to stop picking on Bushy. Crikey. <laughs> have a he look, get, at, he gets have enough, look at him. He gets enough stick in our side so from Monday to Barbershop Friday. Barbershop Geordie has given Lewis Bush $50 to go and sort those sideburns Hey, Lewis, if you're listening, sorry, that wasn't me. It wasn't me either. It was Barbershop Jordy. Jordy texted me and offered it and said these need to be removed immediately. Now, the result in the White Upper Bush versus Hawks Bay game, 62 to 19, Chaldzi. Um, 24 19 at half time. Bush, Bush were looking good. Yeah, great first half. Uh, the boys come out, replay some really good rugby. Uh, two tries just before half time. 
to bring that score pretty close at half time. Hawks Bay turned up with 31 players, brought on the cavalry, you know, in the second yeah. half, and we, we couldn't match them. But I think uh, Mark Rutini and, and his coaching staff and management will be, will be pretty happy with that. Yeah. Uh, there are probably a number of players that weren't available for that game that they'll be considering for selection. So I feel there's going to be some great competition for places in this Heartland squad this season and really looking forward to watching the bush yeah, uh, cool. kick some ass. Cool. Um, okay, Lane Penn Cup final today, 2.35 at Greytown. Uh, Greytown versus Ekaterhuna. This is going to be a massive encounter. And we've got um, uh, uh, Robbie Anderson, the baby chook, and also Tavita Isaac on the show today. And we're going to start off with a few questions here from look at this one, the baby chook. Now, he doesn't look too much different from this photo. The only thing would be, Childsy, he's probably growing a few more teeth. Have a look at this. Robbie Anderson, welcome to the show. Hey, lads. How are you? Very good. Yeah, great, Chuck. Uh, look, mate, oh, the first question I've got for you is, how's the arthritis? Uh, <laughs> Anton Lark. No, it's, it is good. It's um, I still have issues with my right ankle, but compared to... To this year, from what I had last year, it's um, it's 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 a lot. Well, it's it's improved a hell of a lot, and um, I'm back out there and at pretty much 100 percent. So enjoying the footy a lot more. So yeah, thanks, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for that question, Mark. <laughs> yeah, well, well, look, Chuck, well, just just in case, is it a cankle or an ankle? Well, it was gout. It was a, a 18 month uh, episode of gout, apparently, according to the the rest of Ray, Ray White group. So. Yeah, the gout, the gout is gone. Um, I'm off the seafood and the beers, and uh, yeah, I'm back to full health. I know you are. Look, but uh, Chuck, you made the Premier grade in the Ray White Club this year. Was that one of your, your main goals of your life, or is rugby more important? No, nah, rugby has been uh, has been far more important. I didn't grow up as a kid wanting to be recognised for or get, get achievements in selling real estate, but hey, it's um, we managed to secure that, so it's um, yeah, it's it's nice. So, yeah, thanks, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chuck, that way, Chuck. We appreciate your sponsorship last season. You've been pretty uh, pathetic this season, to be honest, given that your income's risen. Um, but we've got I've got one more question from you, Chuck. It's a multi choice question, uh, and it's uh, relevant to a player in your uh, your side. Uh, BJ Campbell. Uh, now, BJ's a, a synonymous name in Ikarahuna rugby, Wairarapa Bush rugby, New Zealand rugby. Oh, look, the, the question is, where has BJ gone? Now, you've got three choices. A, gone hunting. B, injured. C, has he fled to Australia? Is there, a, uh, is there a D there for none of the above? Or Well, there's no D, but is, is the, the answer none of the above? Yeah, it is. BJ, uh, for those that aren't aware, has actually in the last couple of weeks become an Instagram influencer. So for those that are unaware of how that works, it's a uh, Instagram's a social media platform and, and BJ is using that to, to make money. So he's actually been invited on a on a, a trip down to Queenstown to, to take photos with the landscape down there and uh, and publicise it all over all over Instagram. So it's um yeah, we lose him for two weeks unfortunately, but uh, the fame and the glory's got to him and he's and he's chasing the chasing the big bucks down there. All right, Chuck. On a serious note, are you boys up to it today? Are you fizzing? Are you ready? Yeah, we are. I mean, obviously, with our club, Steve uh, is Lane's son, so there's there's a bit riding on it for us. It was one of our major goals when we when we set out the season to to do well um, and put ourselves in a position to to try win the Lane Pen Cup, and we've done that. So obviously. Two weeks ago against East Coast was a little bit of a mishap, but we've we've learned a few things from then, and we're even though we're not full strength, we're definitely um, we're definitely up for it and, and keen to be the first team to knock over grey down. All right, hey, cheers for coming on, Chuck. Stay on the line because we're going to talk to you uh, about the pick the score competition later on in the show. Now, our next guest, um, Tavita Isaac. Let's just zoom in on this picture. This is nice tea. Welcome to the show, Tavita Isaac. Oh, you're a funny, funny man. Oh, sorry, just taking this opportunity to get some primetime advertising in there on the old Charlesy Pesco show. You're a funny man, Pesco. Thanks for having me. All right, charlesy has got a couple of questions for you about this game. Well, no, I, I don't actually. You don't. You want to keep it all run the wrap, <laughs> no, don't you? No, I've asked him okay. I need to ask. I've got nothing Okay. For Other than, look, it's uh, a pretty serious photo there. You've got uh, the Mayor of Greytown. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us uh, what sort of era you were trying to portray there? 
Uh, I think I was trying to imitate the Ekaterina rugby team in that uh, in that one there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, don't fuel the fire. I'm telling you. Look, you won't support the Sneens, but you might support the old uh, the old dress up party afterwards somewhere. All right. Now, Tavito, I have to have a question for you. Um, the Lane Pen Cup is on the line now. Greytown have this habit of choking when it comes to major uh, major games. Has um, uh, Paul Pottinger, Foxy? <laughs> Um, added a little bit more experience to the coaching staff, and will this help overcome on the big occasions? Yeah, um, you're really setting me up to fail here, aren't you, Persico? Um, look, our coaching staff was just fine last year, uh, and it's only been uh, the depth has only been added to with the inclusion of uh, Potsy. He's a wise man. Um, he uh, he spent a bit of time yarning with the lads last night over the importance of the. Uh, Lane Pen Cup, not only that, but the uh, Old Timers Day in which we're hosting this weekend. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely added value to our mix, and uh, we're looking forward to that battle to, uh, today. Yeah, yeah very, very well said there, um, Tavita. Now, one more question for you before we uh, move on to some results. Um, this picture of here, this waistcoat that you're wearing in this photo, uh, is, is that something you still rock around in Greytown in, or can you tell us more about this? <sighs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, mate, you're stalking my Facebook. It's not on. I get, you, you just wait. It's coming for you, Persico. All right. Hey, thanks for thanks for coming on for, for so far, Tavita. We'll talk to you a little bit later on. And thank you very much for coming through those chickens for me as well. Really appreciate it. Now, we're going to cover now Warrapa Bush Secondary School Rugby, Charlesy. And, um, well, we actually have the coach, right? Well, we do. Bush. We have the Warrapa College First 15 uh, assistant coach, uh, Robbie Anderson, with yep. us. Uh, Why call... 10-0 victors over Wellington College, second 15. Chuck, can you tell us a little bit about that game? Uh, yeah, so, well, the board, first win for the lads, so they're pretty uh, pretty excited about that. It's uh, it's a young team this year, and, um, yeah, we've had a few injuries which have hurt us, but they, they fought hard and they managed to score score a try late in the second half and kick a penalty to, to secure the win 10-0. So, yep, it wasn't the prettiest football, but, um, yep, they're happy with the win. No, great stuff, Chuck, and well done to yourself and JT for guiding those boys uh, at their stage of the season. Rathkill went down. This will hurt them. Whanganui Collegiate 17 6. That is the biggest game in the inter, inter school fixtures for Rathkill. I can tell, give you the tip. They went down to Collegiate. They'll be hurting. That's a, yeah, they, they wouldn't, be, wouldn't be enjoying that. But look, onwards and upwards. Yep. And in the local uh, first and second 15 competition, Makoda. Had a massive, massive upset victory, 40 points to 7 over Rathkeel. Um, Kurunui College went down 44 to 17 versus Waikol second 15. And um, in the combined secondary schools, uh, uh, female rugby, 47 to 5. Uh, what if it went down as well? But Yeah, yeah. Tavita Isaac, any comments uh, you want to make about the Kurunui team and, and the coaching staff? Oh, well, um... Oh, the, the under-15s, well-coached team, well-drilled team, yet to lose a game this season. Uh, hot favourites in the under-15 grade. I, I went and watched the uh, first 15 play the other week. Some massive talents in that team. Unfortunately, the, the coaching set up in that, probably a, yeah, a little bit to be desired. Um, you know, if they tweak their coaching set up, I'm sure they'll uh, yeah, big, big hopes in front of that team. Yeah, thank you, Tavita, for your comments there. Yeah, thanks for your input on that, Tavita. Well noted. Um, okay, now, in the first and second 15 competition, uh, Waterbush has come up with a new initiative now. Uh, they are releasing, uh, uh, releasing the names of the, of the under-18 Waterbush Barbarian side. Um, they are playing against East Coast when Nazi Plo East Coast come down to play Waterbush. They are also bringing an under-18 side down. So for those of you um, uh, young men that play in that uh, competition, it's something to work towards for the next three weeks because... Um, how good would that that be to play the Natapo East Coast under 18s oh, as well? Absolutely, there'd be a lot of passion there. There'd be some haka yep. going on for sure from Natapo East Coast. So, if you're an under 18 player, put your name forward for selection. Yeah, cool. All right, now uh, Charlesy, we have uh, the Mill Hillians. We do. Dino's contacted me. 12:30 p.m. Mara, Sunday, 13th of June. Yellow, yellow bellies. <laughs> <laughs> versus the Mohillians, Golden Oldies, RFC. Get down there. Just turn up if you want a game. Uh, that'll be fantastic. And we're going we're gonna to give away the Lone, Lone Star, Star Legend. Legend of the Week will be the player of the day in this, in this match. You've got to be local, any, I feel. Any, I feel you've got to be local. You've got to be local. Got to be local. You've got to be local. But anyone can never run. Anyone can so ever run. Male, female. There. You can come in, play a game of rugby. The man of the match, or 
woman of the match. Woman of the match. Will be uh, done by Dean Gooden. Dean selected Gooden. by Dean Gooden. Dean Gooden's going to select it, and you will, will, will be announced on next week's show. All right, Childsy, let's get into the reserves draw, the games for this weekend. It all kicks off East Coast versus Carterton. Take it from here. Awesome competition. So we've got East Coast on Old Timers Day out there facing Carterton. They're on a roll. Look, up the coasties, I say. Stick it to them. Up the coasties there. We've got Greytown, the Papawai Prowlers against Tuhurangi. Look, a bit of a connection here. Greytown, Tuhurangi merged back in sort of the early 2000s. Yep. Always a lot of passion and fire in this match. Uh, big big question. Uh, East Coast have Old Timers Day, Greytown. Old Timers Day. Day. Martinborough, Old Timers Day. Where's Richie, though? Right. Yes, this is a big question I've been asked all week. Where is Richie going to be? Richie, Richie Robinson. Robinson. Richie Robertson. <laughs> Robinson, please. Where do you think he's going to be? Well, look, I've been stopped on the street. I've been texted. I've been rung. Where is he going to be? Richie Robertson, over 350 games for Greytown, but also a stalwart of the East Coast Rugby Club and has brought a lot of joy to that club as well. The question is, where is Richie going to be? Look, I don't know. I suppose... Look, if you see him around, take a photo, send it to me, mark.childs at raywhite.com. Send me some evidence because we want to know where Richie's going to be. Sorry, Richie, you'll hate me for this, but where are you going to be? All right, Martinborough, they host Marist. Uh, Old timers, they out there in Martinborough. Um, Leith Harley's side really struggling in this competition without a win. So hopefully, Old Thomas Day boosts them up. Uh, Pioneer at Jean Street versus Gladstone. Two games there from one o'clock plus. The Nun Shield after that, which we'll get into shortly. Mm. Um, but the match of the round for me, Charlie, is Marston and Stars versus Pukatoi, both these sides in the top four. Yeah, they are very good sides. That'll be a close game. Marston and Stars at home. I'll, I'll be tipping them for the victory. Yep. Pukatoi got to travel. All right. Now, the Charlie and First Go Show picked the school competition $1,500. The match of the round, no questions about that. It's the Lane Pen Cup, Greytown uh, versus Ekadahuna, 235 today in Greytown. Now, Tavita, um, Tavita and Baby Chook, quick question for you boys. Um, would you guys like to up this by 500? Now, you only have to pay it. So if Ekadahuna win, Tavita, you put in 500. If Greytown win, Baby Chook, you put in 500. <laughs> I put money in, I put money in for the show. That uh, go down too well, so yep. <laughs> it wasn't a great so result. Is that, is that a yes? Is that a yes, Chuck? Are you that well, obviously you've got to be confident that your side's going to win today? No, we, we, we're confident, but we, we won't put wages on the game. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And and, and as as you just shouldn't, so oh, people um, should. Yo, should. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I'm keen on that. I'm keen on that. I'm okay, Tavita's, Tavita's happy to pay up. So, uh, baby Chuck, are you in, Robbie? So if I, so he get a Huna win, he pays five hundred. If we lose, then I pay five hundred. Correct. Correct. If Ekadahuna Huna win, you're you're off scot free. Okay. Right yet. We'll back us. All right, got it on you. Take the score oh. right into two thousand dollars. You could win it. And Charles has even given the rules closest to the score. So make sure you leave your comments below. Um, closest score wins. But with the closest score, Charles, do you have to pick the winning team? You do. Yes. You got to pick the winning team. So it's the nearest score to the score, but you've got to pick the winning team. If there and is. The, the Bucks will rest with me. I'll select it. So don't bother messaging. I'll pick the winner, and that's it. Okay, fair enough. Charles, he's got the final say on this. So thank you, guys. Pick the score, $2,000. It's always good to catch him out. Now let's go through the other games of the, of the round oh, today. Oh, the fields of complaints coming in. I can see it. <laughs> I'll vote myself up the card. Right, the Lane yeah. Bank Cup final, and then we've got the Dick Nunn Shield. Now this is at Gene Street Pioneer host Gladstone. 235, plus obviously the earlier game against Gladstone. This is going to be a massive day down there at Pioneer as well, Childsy. Oh, we'll be here. East Coast Cardinan, both of these sides a little bit desperate. You're going to ask me about the, that game, are you? Oh, yeah. What do you think about this game? Oh, Pioneer all the way at home. Yeah, they, they won't be beaten. Of Guaranteed. course. I think Pioneer just on a roll at the moment. Gladstone have, have suffered Pioneeritis in the past, so good luck. All right. Um, East Coast Cardinan, both teams struggling. That'll fire up Gladstone, by the way. Sorry, Pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got here? East Coast Cardinan at home. I'm picking the Coasties to win this one. I feel at home, they're on the improve. They've got some confidence now. They've got some very astute coaching and a, a good bunch of guys out there. And Carterton are a fine side, but I feel Coasties at home. 
they'll they'll take that in a close one, in my opinion. But yep. be, I wouldn't be surprised if it went the other way, but I'm going for the Coasties. Yeah, I've got Carter on this one as well. Now, Martinborough, they host Marist. Old timers at Martinborough. Obviously, I've got Marist, and I've got Marist uh, by a big score, by 30 Now, nah, uh, Brucey, the team's come back strong this week. They're over their injuries. It's their old timers day. I'm definitely going for Martinborough to win this match down there. They're desperate. They're yeah. desperate. This is yeah. be all end all for them. And we've seen some upsets this year in this competition. So no, I don't think it's an upset. I'm going for Martinborough. Yeah. Uh, Tavita, quick question for you, mate. Based on what you've seen this season with the sides out there, who do you believe is going to be your biggest contenders uh, against Greytown this year? Um, honestly, cool. I actually think anyone in the um, in this competition could be devastating on their day. Pioneer has proven that in the last couple of weeks, and I uh, I agree with you boys. I think they're going to go out there and do it again tomorrow. Ikarahuna, um, there's a reason they're in that final, um, and, and we we truly believe that they are they are at this stage probably the biggest competitors. Yeah. All right, Robbie. Same question for you, mate. Who do you think is your biggest threat this season? Yeah, like well, much like Davida said, everyone, anyone can beat anyone, as we found out two weeks ago against East Coast. But I mean, Greydown are unbeaten at this stage, and from what I've been told, all accounts, they haven't really been challenged too um, competitively. So, a big targets on their back, and um, yeah, we're pretty keen to to be the first to knock them over, and we'll do everything we can today to do so. Yeah, cool. Hey, thanks, uh, Robbie Anderson, for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Good luck for tomorrow. Hopefully, you can um, take away this silverware. And uh, thank you so much, Tavita, for all your kind comments as well on the show regarding coaching. Um, Chaldi, anything more to say before we go into the What About You campaign? Yeah, I just want to say uh, uh, on behalf of the Greydown Club, uh, the Lane Pen Cup is a big thing for us. We, um, we have a great deal of respect for what I do personally and, and the club for Lane and what he did for not only Wairarapa Bush Rugby, Ikaruhuna Rugby, but New Zealand Rugby. He was a great man. I knew him well. And, um, yeah, we, we just like to pay respect to him. Uh, today and everyone at the ground will know that we know Ikaruna are going to come down with uh, the band of supporters. It's going to be a great day down there. Um, but this is really a tribute to Lane and what he did for for everyone in this region. So yeah, I'd just like to say yeah to to Steve and Tim uh, who I know as well. Yeah, we'll be giving it everything, and we know you guys will be giving everything as well. But after the game, we'll we'll charge our glass and we'll have a drink to Lane. Cool. Yeah. Well said, Charlesy. And also, the what about you campaign? There's three old uh, timers days out there uh, today so look after your mates make sure you don't drive, drink and drive uh, make sure you've got a ride organized anything you want to add to that yeah make sure you're organized like if you're planning a big night out there's there's a lot of festivities at the clubs yeah don't just go on a, out on a whim make sure you, you you organize yourself before you go out that's all i'd say yep. and uh yeah look after each other and um if you see one of your mates you know playing up a bit getting a bit too pissed grab them yeah and hey, if you have a couple, to, if you have a couple too many, someone's always going to give you a lift home too. That's right. Yeah, just be organised. That's all I'd say. All right. Hey, thanks for watching the show. Good luck, everyone, today, and uh, can't wait to go and see the rugby. We'll see you next weekend. Thanks for watching. Kia ora.